I cannot believe what has just happened. The great man himself, Yoshitaka Miyoriyama, has just made an announcement that has blown my mind. He is the mastermind behind the Sukuden series, and I have so much respect and appreciation for what he has achieved. I know that there's a lot of Sukuden fans on this channel, so this is something that you're going to be very interested in. It's been nearly 15 years since the last mainline Sukuden title, and over 8 years since the Japanese exclusive spin off, The Woven Web of a Century, was released. Since then, there has been nothing. Muriyama himself has also been quiet over the last 15 years with The Alliance Alive being his only recent work. However, it is now safe to say that Muriyama is up to something. Something big. That something is a true spiritual successor to Sukuden. It is called a Yurin Chronicle and it looks and sounds amazing. And it's not just him, Muriyama is also working with other former members of Sukuden, such as Junko Kawano and Asamu Kamuda. This video is going to look at everything leading up to the announcement, all of the details of the announcement, and finally, what it exactly is a Sukuden spiritual successor. Before we get into that, I'd like to introduce you to a fellow Sukuren fan who worked with me to make this video possible. Meet John with a H, aka DreamyWarrior00. He streams retro games with a heavy focus on RPGs, all recorded on original hardware. I'll add a link to his Twitch account below, you should definitely check it out. Before John with a H gets into the latest info, I'm going to go over the recent build up to this awesome news. Let's get into it. Muriyama has been building up to this announcement for months now. On March the 2nd, he created a Twitter account, at BMS Muriyama. BMS stands for Blue Moon Studio, which he established in 2002 after leaving Konami. A few days after setting up his Twitter, he tweeted that the account is now at 101 followers and that there are 7 left. Well played Muriyama. On March the 8th, he tweeted this in English. This year is shaping up to be full of new endeavours. To prepare for that, I've decided to set up a Twitter account and start leaving my mark in what ways I can. During this time, Murayama was also busy tweeting about many Sukuden related topics. Some of these include, You can blame me for turning the kobolds into lovable pups. In Japanese, we decided to pronounce it kobolt with a T sound for extra cuteness. He also tweeted that the reason that Valeria's falcon rune is exceedingly powerful is due to pure unadulterated favouritism. On March 16th, Japanese radio station FM Tanabi did a 90 minute airing of Sukuden music. At the end, they give a big announcement that in July they'll be doing another radio show and will have special guest Yoshitaka Muriyama to answer fan letters. Even more Sukuden love then came on July 16th when Muriyama posted this on his Facebook page. Ancient documents excavated the other day. On the same day, he also confirmed on Twitter that he'll be on the radio doing some Q&A with Japanese Sukuden fans. On the 22nd of July, Muriyama tweeted that he's almost ready to report on a project that he's been working on. And finally, on the 23rd, he tweeted that there was just one day left. And that brings us to this awesome announcement that he just dropped. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to pass you over to John with a H to talk about Muriyama's new announcement. Over to you, John, with a H. Muriyama finally announces his Kickstarter project. Title, Heiyaku Euden, or as we will come to call it in the West, Euden Chronicle. The production team will include some of the all-time greats, Yoshitaka Muriyama, Junko Kawano, and Osamu Komuta, all of them having directed a game in the Suikoden series. Described as a brand new, high-quality JRPG from Yoshitaka Murayama and Junko Kawano in their first collaboration in 25 years. The graphics will be in 2.5D, giving the atmosphere a dynamic and vibrant look. Welcome to the continent of Alron. The story will begin in the corner of the continent, with each culture having their own distinct and unique values. We start to learn the history behind the land, being shaped by the sword, as well as magical objects known as rune lenses. There have been alliances and aggressions between the inhabitants, which include humans, beastmen, elves, and desert people. We also learn of an ambitious nation known as the Galdean Empire. They have found a new technology that will greatly enhance the power of the rune lenses, giving them the upper hand on their neighboring nations. But they are still seeking to expand this power even further. In a Galdean expedition unit, Sane Kessling, a young and gifted Imperial officer, and Noah, a boy from a remote village, meet each other and become friends. However, a twist of fate will soon drag them into the fires of war and force them both to re-examine everything they believe to be right and true. So we really hope you'll consider backing this project once the Kickstarter goes live. Yoshitaka Murayama will also be doing a radio broadcast later tonight on FM Tanabe. 
That's all I have to say for now. Keep being excellent to each other, RPG fans. And now, back over to you, Hellfire RPGs. So, while it's not quite Sukiden 6, a spiritual successor created by Murayama, Kawano, and Kamuda has me absolutely pumped. But what does spiritual successor actually mean? The term is commonly used for sequels that are not directly related to its predecessors, that is, does not take place in the same world or build upon the previously established storyline. It would instead be considered a sequel because it shares common themes, styles, elements, and perhaps even created by the same development staff. It is a sequel, not directly, but in spirit. So, what would this mean for a game to be a spiritual successor to Sukaden? This could come down to individual views of what makes Sukaden Sukaden, but personally, I think there are a few obvious elements that most of us could agree on. In terms of plot, the whole underdog story is something that makes the series so special. Having a bunch of unlikely heroes team up and face an enemy that seems unstoppable, yep, that certainly is Sukaden. While the plot does not follow that of the Sukaden series, it looks like war is going to be a dominant focus of this story. I'm really hoping that there's massive war battles in some form too. Sukaden lore was also incredible, and the five core titles and several spin-offs seem to only be the tip of the iceberg. One of my favourite things was seeing these themes, and my favourite Sukaden characters appear in multiple games, and if this series is going to have lore as heavy as Sukaden, then having it presented through multiple titles would be great. The 108 Stars of Destiny also play a huge role in Sukaden in that a large variety of characters from all walks of life can be recruited around the world and fight for your cause. Check! Ayuden Chronicle is going to feature an extensive cast of 100 heroes. But where would all of these characters go? Yep, having a HQ is oh so Sukaden. One of the best things about the series for me was having a place to call home where all of my allies could gather. Another tick here, the game will have a fortress building element that allows you to customise your fortress differently. It really sounds like Ayurin Chronicle is heading in the right direction. I could not be more excited. Let me know in the comments, what is Sukaden to you and what would you like to see? After all this time, I still can't believe we're getting this. A Yurin Chronicle, a true Sukaden spiritual successor. I am going to be following this every step of the way, so make sure you sub so you don't miss a thing. I'll also be posting another video very soon, taking a closer look at everything we know so far. I would also like to thank John with a H once again for helping me out with this video. He's an awesome guy and you should definitely go check out his RPG streams. This was Hellfire RPGs, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for more A Yurin Chronicle info. See you next time.